fun ahead. <laughs> We're going to have it, too. Uh, pardon me, madam. Uh, I wonder if you could recommend a good hotel. That's fine, boys. We can use every one of those maps. <laughs> Just put them in the glove compartment. There it is. Oh, that auto club steers you right every time. The International Hotel. Room 703 or 307. Can't stand an inarticulate hotel clerk. Oh, TV in the lobby. Too noisy. Oh, those westerns. Room 307. <laughs> 307. Ah, there it is. Crack these sticky doors. Waldo, help me with this door. We'd be delighted to open the door. Blow the safe. Thank you, boys. It's that good old American know-how. Oh, what a terrible room. That green wallpaper and that cheap silver trim. Get our bags, boys. Trash on the floor. I won't throw my money around for this place. Sir, I shall demand that the auto club withdraw its recommendation immediately. Sir, this is criminal. In one of the most daring crimes in history, the convicts robbed the First National Bank under the direction of their sinister leader. The clever underworld figure is easily recognized as short, has squinty eyes, and a large, bulbous nose. Oh, you can spot those criminal types every time. Hanging is too good for them. The little mastermind apparently carries out his reign of terror in a manner so daring as to defy the study of criminologists. Minute. It's the leader! Let's get out of here! I'll report you to the Better Business Bureau! It is highway robbery! Without a hotel, we might as well head home. It's been a most unprofitable trip. Oh no! No, it can't be! No! Oh yes! The William Penn! Never mind, boy. I'll park it myself. Oh, a lovely pool. And those girls in their striped bikinis. Oh, dear me. And there we go. Now, remember, boys, if you want anything, just ask for room service. Well, boys, it was a great vacation. Can you imagine they escorted me out on their shoulders? What's this? It is. We'll call the police immediately. It's those two convicts. Got it again. 